Hello. No, just kidding. It's Galadon from the Clan Lost Phoenix. Here with another installment of the Clash of Clans attack series. Please do check out Lost Phoenix on Facebook and Twitter, but more importantly, look us up in game. We've got six great clans full of active, friendly, mature, and very helpful players for just about every level of gameplay. Alright, this episode is going to be a little more heavily focused on AI, or artificial intelligence, or the lack thereof. You remember this clip from the last video with the wall breakers going every which way. We're going to see a little more of that in this attack here with some exceptionally low level walls for a champion level. Peter $17 would probably explain that these low level walls confuse the attacking troops. And who knows, maybe he's right. So with this type of setup here, I did go ahead and activate the king and the queen, dragged him over here to the outside. Wasn't real worried about getting through with those walls, but figured just to be safe, I pulled him out here. So far, a pretty standard attack for my strategy. Pretty unremarkable things happening so far. Right up until we send in the wall breakers, and then all hell kind of breaks loose. Here they come. Alright, so we slow it down. They move in for that first wall. They've targeted a whole bunch, pile up, take out a few sections. Now they move over to the right. Okay, so maybe wall breakers AI says go to where there's three walls that join. And so here they go again off to the left. They take out this wall, but now watch this. Yep, a wall out by itself, and then it gets even better. <laughs> one piece of wall, and then one lonely wall breaker left. Yeah, where does he go? That way. Leaving that inner ring of purple walls completely untouched. Um, I have no words. Well, eventually the uh, king and the other units will do their job under that next rage spell there and get in there through the uh, inner purple walls. Had this been a bunch of level 11 walls, I don't know, but I uh, guess we got a little bit lucky going for a lower level base here. Those defensive structures weren't fully upgraded, and that definitely attributed to an easy 100%, plenty of time left, managed to wipe out all of his structures. He's obviously made it to champion level on offense and not defense. Good for him. That's not an easy thing to do. All right, on to the next one. Osgur Gur from Made in Turkey. He's got more of a traditional looking southern teaser base with a slight variation. So I went ahead, sent in the golem, sent in a few wall breakers. Once the defenses were distracted, they got through that outer wall pretty quickly. Now the units should be able to focus mostly on getting through that inner wall. Well-timed mortar shell takes out almost all my wall breakers right there, and we do fail to get through that inside blue wall. Okay, so it wasn't really a well-timed mortar shell, it was more like a poorly timed release of wall breakers. Nonetheless, with the structures on the outside pretty sparsely located, hopefully we'll get rid of most of them with those outer wizards, and the heroes will focus on getting into where the town hall is. Now, I've already had to drop my second rage spell, which is earlier than I'd like to, but we're pretty much up against that wall now. There's no structures close to the left or the right, so it looks like they will be focused on getting through that blue wall, which hopefully won't take too long. Freeze the Inferno Tower as it's focused on the Queen. She's a little bit low on health, but we're going to get through that wall, and hopefully that rage spell extends far enough. One more freeze spell wasn't really needed, but there goes the Town Hall. Now, it looks easy from here, but as you look closely, you can see that it was really close to not being a successful attack. Barely got the town hall, barely got 50%. It was a big offer though, 25 cups for two stars. So we'll go ahead and move on to the last attack of this video against E Scorpion or Escorpion, whichever you prefer. The nickname for this attack would probably be if the wall breakers do their job right, it doesn't really matter what the king and the queen do. Now I attack from the south here, and as you can see, if you look at the base layout, there's only one set of enclosing walls, and so with the AI of the wall breakers, as imperfect as it is, after the first set, they really should be breaching that inner set of double walls. There's almost no other possible place for them to go. And once they've made that hole there, it's just a matter of time before my troops find the town hall. Here they go. There's the inner double wall. Not quite gone, but I've got a few wall breakers left. They're going to run through that rage, 
and explode right there. There we go, we've breached the hole. Now the king, off to the left. The queen, she goes off to the right. And you can see the vast majority of my attacking force has moved off to the right now. The wizards and the witches, they're kind of headed for that next enclosure. Now here I do get a little bit lucky. The witches turn to the left and focus on the next closest structures, those defensive structures there. Their skeletons are already moving in. There's a couple of mini golems inside now. The uh, inferno towers are out of juice. And because the witches have changed their focus now, we will definitely be getting two stars here instead of what was probably just a single star attack. Massive number of skeletons, the witches still inside that well-placed rage, and there goes the town hall. It's always nice when you can lay down the rage spell that will work both outside and inside a wall that your troops are about to go around. Just the perfect radius. And uh, not enough for three stars, but pretty close. And another good score, 18 trophies. Starting to get lower offers here as we move up the ranks. And that is going to wrap up this edition of Clash of Clans Attacks. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate all you subscribers. I'll try to spend a little more time on uh, Global, and maybe we'll have another giveaway coming up in the next week or two. I'll also be working on a defensive video. Uh, showing some failed attacks. Not that I always win on defense. In fact, I rarely do, but it might be nice to have a little change of pace. All right, as always, please check out the Clan Lost Phoenix. Or should I say the clans? I had a chance to visit most of our feeder clans last Sunday, as a lot of our champions do move around from clan to clan on Reset Sunday. So please join us and clash on.